Hello and welcome to another video, I'm Mind Glowing and today we're going to talk about how to rig your character. We're going to rig your character in a very simple way using Accurig uh, and Mixmo animations. It's a huge library of animations so you don't have to uh, animate your own rig uh, or, or for any poses, whatever you need. Uh, and we're going to show it to you in a couple of minutes. But first of all, why? Accurig and why not use Mixamo because it has already that library that we are going to use with Accurig, right? Well, Accurig is uh, very accurate. It's in the name. Um, it has very nice features like um, it has a, an extra step in the process of rigging your hands. Uh, while Mixamo doesn't do that, it um, just does it automatically. Uh, and it does a very bad job at doing it automatically, if so, um, in my experience. Uh, besides that, uh, I've seen that um, it works very well with, uh, say, jackets, things that uh, need some stretching. Um, and I've seen that Mixamo just completely obliterates the mesh sometimes. Uh, it does a very decent job. Uh, let's say but um, Accurig is way better at this point it's also newer than Mixamo so let's just uh, dive in it and I'll show you how it works I will make sure that all the links are added into the description so make sure you download Accurig and uh, we will need um, an add-on for this to work in Blender so um, here you can get, get it from the releases, you just download the source code, download it and then you can add it um, in Blender under preferences, add-ons, install, just locate the zip file and then um, you will see it here. Just make sure you enable it. And we need another uh, add-on that is already that comes with Blender. It's called Rigify. Make sure you enable this one as well. So once you've done all that, we're gonna export our character. Um, this is a character that I've made and uh, that I've sculpted myself, uh, and I had a little bit of fun with it already. Um, so let's rig it. And uh, so select all the objects that you need. Um, and go to file export fbx and I already uh, exported it here make sure you have uh, selected objects and let's jump into Accurig so I loaded my character already it's a pretty dense character um, but Accurig can get up to I think it's uh, 600 or 700 thousand polygons which is quite high and is all we need so we just click on rig body, let the program do its work, have a little wait. It will do most of the work already, um, but for example, um, these tend not to be on the, in the right position, but it's, it's fairly easy to adjust them since you, you get a, an image of where they should be. Um, but I'm gonna reset that and take off symmetry at first. That's gonna save me some time. And then you can check if everything is at the right position. Some, some are not, some are already perfectly lined up. The rest seems to be all right. Maybe a little higher. Yeah, that seems to be all right. And then we go and rig the right hand. We have five fingers. My fingers are very low poly, so quality is pretty bad. So it did 
most of the work um, but you see that some things aren't in place but it's very easy to just adjust it just saw these points and the beautiful thing about this software is that it will um, ask for the left hand as well that's the next step but we're adjusting the right hand and that will just symmetrize to the left hand as well so let's go to the left hand now everything should be all right um, some things aren't it's very small things to, ju to adjust we can finalize the character and then we have a few poses and motions to check if the rig performs all right within these um, poses uh, so I'll be back after this is finished so it has finished and we can now check it out uh, select a few different poses or motions like the T-pose so the, you can see that the jacket stretches out pretty pretty nice no errors on that um, the hair stretches out as well very nice alright when, when we are happy we can click export export FBX and use uh, select blender and click export uh, we call this okay. rig. now we jump back into blender we open up add on and we go to import export we import a character we find the character import it all right so something messed up with uh, my materials <laughs> so anyway we import it or rig it character and now let the magic begin so let's get that out of the way let's move the rig character into the middle we don't need this all right and now we can start and talk about animations so now we want to pose or animate this character but it's a very tedious tedious process and instead we want to just use a library where all these poses have already been made and it's just as easy to import them uh, and use them so i will show you uh, two of these free libraries um, first of all we have um, mocap actor call which is from real illusion um, it comes with Acuric, but it, this is uh, their way of monetizing it. Uh, so most of these uh, motions or mocaps are paid. Um, but there are a few free ones which you can get and then download. But it's a rather small, small library. So instead, what we can do is go ahead and use Mixamo. Mixamo has its own um, rigger where you can rigify your character um, but I I will say that um, the fingers aren't as good as with Accurig 
it's a big difference as well uh, like sometimes my characters because they're some uh, quite high poly they do not work uh, in Mixamo all right so let's choose an animation um, I'll just search for one uh, uh, the Macarena dance let's just choose this one this one seems all right um, press download we don't need the skin so make sure you click without the skin the skin is the mannequin in uh, this example it's actually the character i'm gonna take 24 frames per second and we're gonna click download as you've seen i've already downloaded it so let's just save it and let's jump back into blender okay so select the rig and under rigging and animation in the add-on you're gonna click import animations here we click the macarena down so the downloads and there we have it there's the little animation we can press play and see it and the little rig all right now that's added select the rig again uh, make sure you find the source armature which is the macarena dance in our case uh, click the first layer and preview the retarget it goes super fast and press play animation goes a bit slow because of the high poly mesh but as you can see it works perfectly fine So we can do some minor adjustments like um, open up or close the legs, uh, same with the heels, we can put them up or down, the height if it's, if it's level to the ground, but everything actually seemed alright to me, um, so I'm going to keep it, everything at zero. Um, if you're happy with the result you can click on bake retarget and there you have it an easy rig with an easy animation um, it's a super simple process if you want more animations just make sure you download them from Mixamo and add them through the add-on uh, make sure they are added through the import animations button otherwise you won't see them coming up in here and that's everything you need to know guys so happy rigging